What is going on everybody? So good to be back home with another video for you. Today we're going to be talking all about why I actually chose out of every single solution that is out there, every single thing that I could have done, I chose to go with a hair system and why I have stuck with it now for, for almost a year. It's going to be a year in December, which is pretty crazy to think about. Now, before we begin, this video is sponsored by Little Vivid Hair. Little Vivid Hair makes a great product. They make hair systems and all types types of different base configurations, densities, care colors, everything that you can name. But number one, the thing that I really love about them is they really got good customer service. They will handle all of your questions and make sure that you feel like you are being taken care of. And that is huge. If you're looking to make a purchase, please use Jake15 to get 15% off of your order. That code is Jake15 once again. Back to the video. So I get this question a lot. People ask me on YouTube, in the comments, people find me on Instagram, they ask me, people find me on Facebook even, and ask me that question, which is just crazy to me. Everyone wants to know the answer to this. And I think the reason that it's such a hot question is because hair systems are kind of viewed as being like the end of the road, the very, very last solution. And you have all these other options and that you should try them all out first or if you can afford them, you should go for them. Like there, I, I think that people consider hair systems as like the worst option out there, which I actually don't think is true. And if it was true, I probably wouldn't be using it, right? So if you believe me, then you might wanna consider a hair system too. So let's talk about each of the different options that are out there, as well as my personal story. So I started losing my hair probably when I was about 20, 21 right is when i really started to notice it i actually came back from a rock climbing trip in europe i was gone for two months and i had a blast i didn't see any of my friends they didn't see me and i came back right and i was i was with my girlfriend at a party and my friend patrick came up to me he says hey jake like uh it looks like you're kind of like losing some hair in the back of your head like at the crown and i was like no no there, there's absolutely no way i was in complete denial complete denial you know, my father has been bald my entire life. It's something I always was afraid of, never wanted to happen. And my brother used to pick on me all the time and tell me that I was gonna lose my hair. Turns out he actually loses his hair. He has a different father. He lost his hair at like 22, like completely gone, which was funny. Um, but, so this was something that I really feared and it was starting to happen, right? Now through my 20s, Probably when I was about 24, I tried my first solution, and that was I tried some Rogaine, and uh, it didn't work for me. I actually thought I had an allergic reaction to Rogaine after using it for about three to four days. Turns out it might have been the kimchi, which is fermented vegetables that I tried to make at my house. I actually had like a huge swollen face. If you've ever seen the movie Hitch, I looked exactly like that. It was and it was like a week long. It was scary, but funny, <laughs> like looking back at it. Turns out I wasn't actually allergic to Rogaine. But anyways, that kind of stopped my um, my pursuit of all things curing hair loss. So I tried Rogaine and I just kind of like sat on it for, for a couple of years and the fact that I didn't do a thing. Um, which brought me to basically over the past two to three years, being kind of like 26, 27, 28. Uh, I was paying off all my debt, which I'm now completely debt free, which is fantastic. And I wanted to get a hair transplant after I paid off all my debt. Like that was gonna be like my big gift to myself, if you will. I was going to pay off all my debt and I was going to reward myself with getting a hair transplant. Booked everything, tried to go to Turkey. Well, turns out um, I got denied entry into Europe. Uh, I got on a flight and they wouldn't let me into Europe, which was fantastic. So uh, flew back down to Florida and tried it all again. Now, this time right before I left, I actually heard this voice. I don't really know how to describe it, but it told me not to go, which was very curious. And at that point, basically, I just decided that I was kind of done for. I don't really know. I, didn't, I couldn't find any solution that was gonna work for me. Um, I think the thing that scared me a lot about the hair transplants is, is something I'll tell you in a minute. Anyways, I wound up finding hair systems online. I saw some Instagram videos, some YouTube videos, and I was amazed. I was like, dang, th these look so incredibly good that this might actually be the solution for me. It might be my saving grace. Um, so I went and I got it done. And that's kind of the long story short. Now, 
there's more to that story, but I want to put it in the context of like the different solutions that are out there. Why am I not on each of those? So let's talk first about SMP, uh, skeletal micropigmentation, I believe is the, uh, the acronym. Uh, so skeletal micropigmentation is really for someone that wants to have a buzzed head look kind of basically shaved, but they want that shadow that shows the hairline makes sense it's a it's a good look really works well for people and it gives that impressionable like silhouette of where your hairline should be if you've lost your hairline um one this doesn't work for me and i don't want it because i don't really want to have a shaved head um that's just not the look that I, i'm going for i actually did shave my head after getting my first uh well actually my second hair system at the beginning of uh, covid i decided to give it a try see how how i'd like it and i really did not enjoy it that much which brings us to our next thing shaving your head i don't like having a shaved head so boom that one's out of the door <laughs> uh so these two options rely on really just having a um just looking like you have a shaved head but you can improve that with the aesthetic appearance just not for me so next next up people start thinking about minoxidil and or finasteride so minoxidil rogaine i think it's a great choice uh, if you're just getting into this stuff into experiment if you're at the beginning of your hair loss but really i had lost way too much for minoxidil to to have a true effect to do something really really great with my hairline it's just too late you know i completely lost my front hairline and it was very, very thin on top. It is very thin. You can go back and find videos if you would like to. Um, now, finasteride, I, I tried that and minoxidil when I shaved my head last time. Now, the reason I got really turned off to uh, finasteride before when I was thinking about a hair transplant and also uh, when I shaved my head, finasteride can have sexual side effects and I started to feel some of those when I was taking finasteride. I had been on it for about a month and I started to feel sexual side effects. And to me, it's just, eh, just not worth it. You know, <laughs> I just didn't want to have my peep, you know, <laughs> lose its power, if you know what I mean. So uh, to me, not really worth it as far as finasteride, minoxidil. I, I didn't really see any changes. However, I will say this. I also didn't use it for long enough. I was using it for about two months and I didn't see any gains, but at that point I probably should have been shedding. So uh, minoxidil works for a third of people um, and gives you more hair back. For a third of people, it keeps your hair and for a third of people, it doesn't have any effect at all. So take that for what it is. Now let's talk about the hair transplant solution. I obviously was considering getting a hair transplant. I was, that was kind of the course that I was going on. Uh, I think the reason that really scared me and why I heard a voice say don't go is that I hadn't tried finasteride yet. I, I didn't know what my results were gonna be with that drug, right? Because here's the thing about hair transplant. Let's just say everything goes perfectly, right? You still have to be on drugs for basically the rest of your life. It might make sense, you have to maintain your current hair. If you get a hair transplant and you continue to lose hair, you will just have like patchy spots of where you had a hair transplant and then the rest of your hairline and the rest of your hair will start to recede. So there's that to take into consideration. You have to maintain it. Next up is the cost. Um, getting a hair transplant is not cheap. Even if you do it overseas, if you do it in like Turkey, which has like a hair transplant industry for like, you know, people doing that on uh, holiday if you will like coming in flying in getting it done flying out um, much cheaper than the United States however it's still expensive it's not super duper 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 expensive but it's expensive so with that being said like a hair transplant I, I wasn't sure about finasteride now I am sure about finasteride so it's, it's just not in the cards for me to have a hair transplant and also the fact that like I have lost so much hair already that sure I, I have a good donor area back here it's thick i guess but it's i have thousands and thousands and thousands of grafts probably that would need to be done in order to have anything that was somewhat desirable anything less is just going to be pretty thin you know and that's and it's just not worth it to me to spend thousands of dollars and not have great gray hair next up is the solution that uh, some people use which is basically like kind of grafting or um 
taking threads of hair and putting it and attaching it to your natural hair. Once again, I don't really have a, a lot of natural hair to do that with. Um, and this is not a permanent solution either, like a hair system, not permanent. Um, but I just didn't like the idea of that so much. I feel like I wouldn't have that great of a result and it's something that would have that upkeep. So it's like a, it's one of those solutions to me that if you're earlier in the process might be right for you, but you know, wasn't for me. Uh, lastly, a hair system. It is right for me because honestly, um, I, I think this is one of the unique things about a hair system, right? Is you can really have like the best hair that you've ever had with most of these right here. They're kind of like stock gaps. Um, they are things that will help you stop losing your hair, maybe regrow some or supplement some in the case of like a hair transplant or even, you know, where they apply the threads of hair to your natural hair, hair transplant, you can have the best hair instantly, instantly, which is crazy, right? Uh, I can go to a salon, I can say, I want this look, and they can give it to me, just like that. I mean, I can basically make my hair instantly shorter or instantly longer, which is kind of a cool perk too, uh, which is, I mean, it's, it makes you very, very dynamic and your looks like if you wanted to change it up, most guys don't want to, they want to be incognito. They want, they don't want people to know. So they're not going to change up their hairstyles. go short, long, short, long, short, long, anything like that. However, you can instantly have like celebrity hair, which is kind of amazing. Don't you think like we watch movies and we want to have Brad Pitt hair. Now you can kind of have Brad Pitt hair, even if you never did have Brad Pitt hair. I never had that Brad Pitt hair. I never had gray hair. I had okay hair like growing up, but it was always thinner and just eh, eh, it was eh. <laughs> but now, I mean, I, I like my hair, I constantly and consistently get amazing compliments on my hair, that people love it, that people think it's, it's lush. <laughs> that it's thick um and that i have really great hairstyle people call me a model now which is kind of like crazy to think about i guess but it is what it is um okay guys thank you so much for for watching this video i hopefully you know that clears up some of the questions that you have around um why you might want to get a hair system why i got a hair system why i don't actually think that it is the worst solution out there why i think it's maybe the best solution out there if you can get through some of the things that come with having a hair system just like you need to do with rogaine or minoxidil or finasteride or any of these other solutions out here everything's gonna have things that you have to deal with you know what i mean you might have to put that minoxidil in your hair which makes it oily or just takes a while to dry um, hair system really is not that much maintenance. It's not that much maintenance and you can have the best hair that you've ever had in your life. Uh, so please guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe to the notification bell below to stay notified. And thank you so much to Live Vivid Hair for sponsoring these videos. They don't have to do that. Um, they're here to help us both learn, to keep this community educated, to keep us on the forefront of what's going on. They don't have to sponsor this stuff. That's a, that's a very, uh, I'm very grateful that they're willing to do that and keep us growing as men. All right, guys, I will see you soon.